Hey again, y'all. I have a Etsy haul I want to talk to you guys about. I've been ordering quite a bit from her, and a lot of people do. It's uh, Lisa Loren Plans. And I just wanted to just show you why I've been ordering so much from her. I'm new to the Etsy kits, new to even needing one, new to uh, a lot of things. But I ordered from her again. This is my third time ordering what she calls the grab bag. Hopefully she still has it. I almost want to order a fourth. How crazy is that? This is my third. Because for the grab bag, you get 20 sheets. And it says 20 sheets or more. And I really think sometimes you get a lot more than 20. And the price is right. Especially like if you're just getting started. And I have yet to discover... If there's something wrong with these, she doesn't say that they're misfits or just overstock or what. I've yet to find anything wrong. So she included with my grab bag this time, this little happy birthday celebrate cutesy. I would guess it would be a freebie because it's, it's definitely not what I'm used to getting as far as the normal grab bag. In the grab bag, I have this this is a kit there's the bottom and top washies there's all the boxes these are flamingos with sunglasses which i thought and i love the two cans i'm an early bird and a night owl i'm wise and i have worms that's hilarious okay and then here's a little bit of deco some checklists some half boxes a couple little banners and then a weekend banner so that's one, three sheets. This one is Blossom Land. And you see its layout is a bit different from the last one. And again, you have full boxes, washi, some trackers, some headers, cleaning day. I love that she always includes a coffee cup that makes me super happy or she frequently does. I don't think the last kit had a coffee cup on it that matches. It has a little planner that matches. Her kits typically have that which I think is exciting. I love this balloon. So that is a four sheet kit in this grab bag. Oh those little half boxes are adorable too. And then here's some bill dues. Payday, cleaning day. I like that there's a lazy day. I definitely do those. And all these little, little functional banner thingies. I forget what they're called. So there's a four sheet kit. And then here is, I think a two sheet one. Has a weekend as well. Oh, I just noticed how cute is this laundry basket with laundry. Oh, okay. I can keep going back to that kit. I think it's my favorite that she included this time. Although I love them all, that too, that um, flamingo is adorable, and I love floral. You guys know if it looks like a, it's for an old lady, it's mine. Weekend, relax, not today. And this is a small kit called Lindsay. It has all these little setups. Love. I really like this one. I really like it because there's not a heart checklist to be found. Well, okay, there's a heart. But that's awesome. These are those cute little Russian dolls that stack inside each other. It's just a bunch of half boxes, four full boxes, a bunch of washi, weekend banner, and some deco. And I really like this as an idea that I can use with some of my paper or a bunch of my washi. So it's a two-sheeter as well. Here is a birthday sheet, which I thought was super cute. It's got the numbers and presents little banners that say happy birthday and then one that says of course nothing so that's super cute here is ladybug and if i remember right this is a two piece as well and it has washi washi and so this is where you can see that maybe she gave me some extras but by golly i can figure out something to do with these so i don't mind at all I'm excited about it really so those ladybugs are too cute. And I could turn one of these, because of the way they're positioned, into a box on like a mini happy planner. So 
definitely can get use out of that. Here's some more of this great flamingo. He is super cute. That says lazy day. He's laying there. He's got his umbrella. There he is chilling in his seat out by the pool. Raining. And these are definitely cute little functional deco things. Here's some ombre checklists, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan, but it's going to be go able to go with some fall colors really well. It's the right time for these colors. And at the very least, I could put them in my son's uh, school planner. Speaking of school, she sent these headers for school and work, which are handy. Was included in the grab bag. So are these... Um, what she's calling this I don't see a name on it I imagine it's just chores because there's clean fridge wash kitchen trash can dust blinds clean oven dust ceiling fans so it's the things you don't think about all the time that you could change sheets you do a little bit more from the cleaning of the bed clean the tub clean under the bathroom sink how much do we order that clean under the kitchen sink so those chores you need to try to like put in your mind when's the last time I did that and maybe schedule time to do that clean microwave I do every weekend no problem there. I have two messy people not to. Fertilize the plants. How often do you think of that? Wipe doorknobs and light switches. I mean, those are those chores that just get past you because you're too busy doing the big ones. These little stickers could certainly help with that. I like that a lot. And then, in you know, to, to keep with that theme, here's the chore checklist. Weekly chores is a half box type of sticker. And then each of these are half boxes as well. 15 minute pickup, and this is like a little daily do one chore, maybe from that big list over there. 15 minute pickup, kitchen dishes, laundry. Just to keep you kind of on track around your house. And if she sells these in other colors, I might buy these just to see if that helps me keep up on those one chore to add to my day. So each one of these get done over a certain amount of time. I like that idea. And then here's just a sheet of these in green. Odds and ends, next week, clean errands to do, little things. So that, so far I'm still in this grab bag, by the way, folks, still in the grab bag. And last I saw the price was still $15. That's amazing. And then here's these little sloths working out, which I think the more I get something that's about working out, the more I think, hmm, Maybe that's a hint I should work out. So if there's a mistake in these, I don't know where it is. Came in the grab bag, super cute. Here are these. One, two, three, four, five of these adorable little unicorn girls. Wait, maybe six, it is six. Six of these really great rainbow unicorns. There's travel. She's got a little bag. There's work. She's at her laptop. There's happy mail. Two happy mails. Three happy mails. By golly, I'm going to be getting you some happy mail. And I think she, Lisa probably knows I'll be getting them from her. A lot of them anyway. And then here's a little mouse ears for people who like to go to Disney or just really like Disney stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And maybe um, she's able to include those because she has changed a lot of her sizing and layouts. I don't know. But I love this one. Go to the library. Return library books. I love going to the library. I love reading. So this sticker sheet is perfect for me. And last in this little setup is this sloth. Do it tomorrow. Enjoy life. Hanging out. Nap all day. Lazy sloth day. And I wish I could have one of these. But I'm going to plan it and pray. And then everybody have good thoughts for me that Brink lets me do it. So all of this, just so you guys know, all of this was in that grab bag. Everything I just mentioned was in that grab bag. And the last I looked, the price was still $15. Now you know, and this is the way it's been. For my first grab bag, and this is my third every time there's just a ton it's like getting christmas presents i hope she keeps doing it whatever's may or may not be the reason i'm willing to take if these weren't perfect enough for her they're perfect enough for me i can't it doesn't even say on the grab bag that there's a reason for her doing the grab bags she may have just printed extra and didn't need them they seem perfect i cannot find an error in any of them 
And I'm doggone excited about all of them. So I su highly suggest Lisa Loren plans and her grab bags. I also ordered from her, besides the grab bag, I've been building up. She does a little sticker wallet. You can buy a sticker wallet from her and include all these great little stickers. I bought more of Penelope because I love her. This little fox carton hedgehog that's for my sister Tracy. What I've done is I've made each sticker represent somebody, which is kind of cool. So anytime I'm talking about Tracy or making plans with Tracy, it'll be that sticker. Anytime I'm talking about Julius, my friend, that sticker. This one is my daughter, Elizabeth. This one is my friend, Kaylee. There's my daughter, Chelsea. There's my daughter, Kyla. This is going to be Sean. And this is Shane. This was her fee wreath she threw in of this, um, and you get a percentage off your next order. But I think he's perfect for my Shane. Because he, he digs on little dragons. And that's what it looked like to him with the wings. It's a little dragon. He's very excited about that. And then my son Brink is the sloth. Because that's what he likes to do most. And that's what I have the most of. And that's who I do the most with. I have a ton of sloth. And I'm excited about it. And then of course I'm Penelope. And these are all have. You can find this um, Rainbow Mermaid. This is Coco on her site. I think this might be Penelope and that might be, they're all on her site. Please, Violet, that's what it is on her site. Violet, Coco, and Penelope. But for me, that's me, Kaylee, and Chelsea. And then the others are just named after what they are. This is her site, her Etsy shop, and her Facebook and YouTube. So please check her out. Go ahead and order from her. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. I forgot to add, and I want to do that real quick, that I do not PR for anyone, including Lisa Loran Plans. When I make a recommendation on this site at this time, I am not currently PRing for a soul. It's all things I love because I love them. And if I ever did PR, I wouldn't PR for anything I didn't love. It would be because I loved it. It would not be because somebody gave me free things. Because why get something free you don't love? Then I'm not going to use it. There's no point. So I just wouldn't do that. I don't. I I like to think nobody else out in the planning community or in the uh, yarn or knitting or crocheting community that we crafters tend to be honest folk. And if we don't like it, no amount of PR bonus is going to make us recommend it. But I do not PR for anyone at this time. Lisa Loren plants. I just really love her stickers, and all the stickers I've shared with you thus far are just stuff I really like. And if I order and spend my money on it. That's endorsement enough in my head. I'm not willing to pay for anything I don't love. So there you go. Just wanted to put that out there as a disclaimer. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye to the people, Eva. Bye.